Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So, throughout Season 4 of The Flash, the hot and uh, leading and, uh, well, obvious choice as to who the mystery girl that had showed up throughout the season was going to end up being was, of course, the daughter of Barry Allen and Iris West. With the name of choice being the obvious one, that being their actual daughter from the comics, that being Dawn Allen. So throughout the season, if people weren't calling her Mystery Girl, or Coffee Shop Girl, or Jitters Girl, or Awkward Rambling Girl, they were referring to her as Dawn Allen. Because it was just obvious that the main option was that it was, you know, Barry and Iris' daughter, and you'd refer to her name from the comics. But as we saw in the final scene of the season finale, or episode 23, the mystery girl was revealed to be Barry and Iris' daughter, which of course was a complete shock, no one was expecting that. But it wasn't Dawn Allen, she was obviously revealed to be Nora Allen. But hang on, who is Nora Allen? Why did they go with this name? Well, that's what we will be going over in this video, and also correcting some misinformation that, I have been, uh, that I've seen, sorry, uh, spread by some others on the platform in regards to the character, which I'm guessing just comes down to not being familiar with certain storylines from the comics, or basically just googling stuff. It's one of the two. So firstly, before we jump into the more comic booky or comic book stuff, let's just go over why Dawn was snubbed. So, like, why Nora got the pick as the name for Barry and Iris' daughter. So Todd Helbing, the producer of The Flash or the showrunner, did an interview following the season finale where he explained a couple of things. In this finale, in this interview, might I say, he revealed why they went with Nora Allen rather than Dawn Allen, and this is what he had to say. When we first started talking about it, we decided on her name like a year ago, right around this time, after we'd pitched the season to the studio and network. It was to pay homage to Barry's mother. It felt like if Barry and Iris were ever going to have a child that would be female, that would be one of the names we brought up. It seemed like it didn't matter. The second that we talked to Jessica Parker Kennedy, we knew that people were going to figure out pretty quickly who she was. So we had to put a little spin to make it a little bit different than what everyone was expecting. So basically what Todd was saying here is that Nora is essentially Dawn, but they just changed her name. Now, the fact that they changed her name has had people wondering whether we will see her brother. In the comics, Dawn has a twin brother called Don. So Dawn and Don. And with my accent, people think I'm saying the same word twice. Dawn as in D-A-W-N and Don as in D-O-N. Which I'm sure many of you know by now the names of those twins. And they are commonly known as the Tornado Twins in the comics. Obviously, we will have to wait and see what happens there and whether they bother bringing in a brother for Nora, whether his name is Don or whether they call him something else. One time traveling child might be more than enough for Barry to deal with this season. So maybe they're like, you know what, we'll just keep it with one child and won't bother with the twins. But now let's jump into the comic book side of Nora Allen. Who is she from the comics? Well, up until October of last year, so like what, seven or eight months ago, the only Nora Allen in the comics was of course Barry's mother. But in October of last year, that changed as another Nora Allen was introduced in the comics, and that was the daughter of Barry Allen from the future. But I feel some people are getting very confused and actually think that this Nora is the Nora that we are getting in the show and is the one that revealed herself in the finale. But don't worry, I will break it down and explain this for all that aren't reading the appropriate comics associated with this character. So the Nora Allen that people are confusing the show's version with showed up initially in issue number 26 of Justice League. Not the Flash comics, but the Justice League comics by Brian Hitch. Just making that clear as it is important for something I want to bring up later. She was in the arc and volume known as Legacy, which was the fifth volume, and as I said earlier, that started back in like mid-October last year. Now, this Legacy storyline sees the children of most of the members of the Justice League. I think it's just everyone apart from Batman and Simon Baz are the only ones that don't have children, but they travel back in time to escape, like, Earth, you know, in the future after it's been destroyed by this villain known as Sovereign. Now, the children of the Justice League, or the Super Kids as I'm calling them, were Hunter Prince, who was the son of Wonder Woman, and I think Superman as well. Can't really remember if it was Superman as well. Uh, there's George Stone, who is the son of Cyborg. Eldorus Curry, I think it's Eldorus, that's how I was pronouncing it. Or Dory for short, who is the daughter of Mira and Aquaman. And then finally, we had Jenny and Jason Allen, the twins of Barry Allen and Jessica Cruz. And then finally, Nora Allen as well, who is the other child of Barry and Jessica. I wasn't the biggest fan of this story, along with the rest of the Rebirth run of Justice League. It was just a bit weak, and I felt like it was just in the shadow of Jeff Johns' run from the New 52. I know that's just me personally. And this storyline with Legacy isn't the strongest either. But anyway, yeah, Nora Allen is in this run in the comics, and she is known as Cruz, sort of like a boat cruise, so C-R-U-I-S-E. She basically has the same powers as Barry, she's a speedster with like a few extra additions. But this is really the only time this character will be relevant. I would be shocked if this Nora Allen shows up again. 
Now, granted, I'm not caught up with Justice League as to the issue it's up to now, uh, because I read in the volumes so when the trade paperbacks come out. So she may have returned for all I know. Legacy was actually the last volume I read of Justice League Rebirth because it's the last one that was released. But yeah, I highly doubt we will see her back just due to the setup of that character. In comics, I tend to not really take any information revealed in the team-up titles too seriously or, you know, count them as canon. So, you know, Justice League, Suicide Squad, uh, JLA, all of them, you know, if they're, those characters have their own individual um, comic line. I don't take information revealed them as like concrete canon. So yeah, I usually only take that from their singular titles. So the Flash comics, the Green Arrow comics, the Batman comics, etc. But as Todd Helbing said in that interview, they had decided on her name around this time last year. So mid to late May last year, the show had decided that the mystery girl, Barry and Iris's daughter, would be called Nora Allen. Almost half a year before the comic version even showed up. And yes, I know some people are going to say, but Pagey, that could just be the producer saying that. How do we actually know they came out with Nora Allen for the show before? For that comic art. Well, fairly easy. In episode one, when Barry escapes the Speed Force, Barry says, Nora shouldn't be here. And even before she was revealed to be Nora Allen, we were suspicious that Barry would have just been referring to his mother in that situation as, who the hell calls their mother by the first by their first name? I know I don't. When I was raised, I, would I was taught that calling your parents by their first name, you know, it was pretty damn disrespectful. And also, Jessica Parker Kennedy was also casted for the show before that comic arc even started, because they were filming the crossover around episode I think when episode two or three came out, so she would have known what character she was playing because she said she did um, before she even um, started filming. So she knew her character was Nora Allen. So when it comes down to it, it's just a confusing coincidence that this Nora Allen from the Justice League comics appeared in line with this season as, well, you can obviously tell due to people spreading the, the misinformation, it has confused quite a few. Obviously, if you do want to learn more about Nora Allen on the show, so the one we're getting on the show, not the one from the comics, you're probably better off Googling Dawn Allen. That's, that would probably be the way to go. However, I don't even think, you know, you're going to get much from that side of the comics in season five with the character. You know, I think it's just, they're just going to base it off, oh, it's their daughter and they're going to make up their own stuff going forward. I really wouldn't take too much from the comics in regards to Dawn and, you know, transferring that over to Nora from the, uh, into the show. And for those wondering, hey, should I read Justice League Volume 5 anyway? It's got the Nora Allen character in there. Maybe they might do something with that character on the show, which is a possibility. I highly doubt it, but it's a possibility. If you want to, give it a go. I personally wouldn't recommend it because I think Justice League is poor. I'm just one of those idiots that started reading it, got sucked into it. And I've spent enough money buying the comics, so I may as well finish it. Um, it's fairly poor, so maybe, you know, I'd rather you spend your money on maybe Green Arrow or Flash. They're probably better DC Rebirth runs. But hey, it's your money if you want to buy it, so go ahead and do it if you want. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below. Do you disagree with me? Do you think the Nora Allen we're getting on the show is that Nora Allen that was in the DC Rebirth comics? Or do you agree with me? And it's just a confusing coincidence that it's happened that way. Uh, obviously, I highly, highly doubt these writers and stuff are, you know, talking to each other. If that Nora Allen had been introduced into the Flash comics, I might take that character a bit more seriously, but it's in the Justice League where they do those random, you know, those, just those random storylines which get cancelled out really quickly or the Elseworlds, not Elseworlds, but they take place in maybe like alternate universes or different timelines. It's one of those things where it's just not going to count in like a year's time. Everyone's going to forget that storyline. So because it didn't happen in the actual Flash comics, I really wouldn't take it too seriously. But if you disagree with me and think it's real and the Nora Allen we're getting is the Nora Allen from the comics, let me know in the comments because we can have a discussion, I guess. But yeah, just leave all of your opinions downstairs in the comments. And of course, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later, guys. And goodbye.